for each of our poor in sickness and in health. At that moment, when a couple is convinced that their love is unshakable and want to say, I do, they are advised to first sign a prenuptial agreement before tying the knot, apparently for their own good. It's simply an agreement that states how a couple in a marriage wish to order their affairs in respect to property, maintenance and children. By the way, people used to say about wills, I don't write a will because I'll die. How can you die because you wrote a will? How can marriage uh, have conflict because you thought about the conflict that might manifest? It's precisely because of the unpredictable conflict many years or even a few years into a marriage that a prenup should exist. Family law expert Judy Tongori advises every couple to know that their marriage will eventually come to an end either through death which is inevitable, or unfortunately through divorce, and should therefore prepare in advance. But the idea of prenups is strange to many. It is important that uh, you make it known and you address to yourself to what would happen, what will happen when you're not there. In the prenuptials, we're saying that conflict can happen. And conflict does happen. And that conflict, incidentally, does not even have to end up in divorce. Lawyer Judith Ongori thinks that there might in fact be more conflict without a prenuptial than with a prenuptial. And contrary to what many think, a prenup does not negate trust between spouses. You should trust the other person and yourself to be human enough that it is possible to have conflict. And if you have conflict within a marriage, then how nice it is that you've already sorted out your affairs or set them up in a manner in which then the conflict does not go beyond a certain point, does not become unmanageable. I think, in fact, that the lack of a prenuptial may be why a lot of people have conflict in marriage. Because you get in because you express love and commitment to be together for life. But you get into a marriage and you start facing challenges. It's a reality that couples are advised to confront at the very beginning or at least soon after marriage. Those ones who missed the boat and got married before they, they put in a, a prenuptial agreement, it's not too late because the law also provides for postnuptials and these are agreements that are entered into during the marriage. But the constitution acknowledges that parties to a marriage are equal at the time of marriage during the marriage and at dissolution of marriage. Some argue that introducing a prenup puts one partner at a higher pedestal than the other. Absolutely not, because you're who you are at the time that you get married. I come in, I own this or that. You come in, you don't own anything. But I don't think that's the basis of our getting together. You know, I should hope not. And if I own something, then perhaps I need the confidence of knowing I have power over what to do with that which I come into the marriage with. And you also knowing that you have no right over that which I come with. Then perhaps, in fact, the premises which in, on which we get into the marriage is much clearer. Actually, it's the grey area between love for a spouse and love for their wealth that arguably strains a marriage. I hear accusations, oh, you came into this, you know, because of money, you know, I hear terms like gold digger, you know, being used, you know, by people, you know, very unfair. And perhaps it's because people never addressed, I am coming into this for the marriage and for the love and whatever investments we come out with. A prenup, according to Thongori, doesn't give you what you didn't give yourself during a prenup, but gives you a right over what you stated you came with into the marriage. That uh, kiosk that you came with, in the current laws that we have, remains your kiosk because we don't touch properties that you came with. But if I have developed it to become a supermarket, then I'm entitled to a share of the, of the supermarket to the extent of my contribution into it. A prenup or postnup, as the case may be, is not a secret document, but a binding agreement between a couple signed by a witness and preferably in a lawyer's presence, one which family law experts believe helps couples not to fall into conflict, and if they do, can exit much easily because they happen to have a document by which they should be judged. Selvitabet, Citizen Live at Nine.